Hi, morning everyone. It's like one minute late uh, from me to start. Um, hi everyone. For a homemade macaroon. All right, thank you. Okay. Yes, a homemade macaroon will be very, very nice. Okay. Um, everyone, so today we're going to do writing. Okay, um, last Wednesday, I just had fun with uh, some of you. I didn't inform anyone. We had some quizzes that we had. So those of you who came and did the quizzes on Wednesday, I did a live quizzes, whoever attended. Uh, I hope you had fun. All right, my kids have uh, prepared some quizzes. I said to them that I will play their quizzes with all of you if we have the time, Not, but not today, uh, because today we have a few things to cover. All right, um, so anyway, let's start with the lesson because I don't want to waste um, time, okay? So, let's start with today's objective. Is The lesson is writing, so um, hopefully by the end of the lesson, you'll be able to know how to organize, sequence, and develop ideas within a short text for an informal letter. So today, we are concentrating on informal letter. And then we will do some reading. You'll be able to understand the main points in an informal letter by determining the possible response to answer the letter. And then I will give you a sample letter so you have to compare whether what you wanted to respond to is also in the sample letter. It is okay if your response is different. There is no one way for you to respond to a letter, but you need to make sure that you respond to all the important information that was uh, that was in the letter for you to respond to, okay? Right, so for success criteria, okay, how do you know if you are successful? You know how to organize the ideas in, a formal, in, an, on, in an informal letter, sequence ideas, develop ideas, all of these in response to an informal letter. So you have an informal letter, looking at the letter, how are you going to respond to that? And in reading, as usual, you identify the main points in the informal letter by underlining the important phrases and determine the possible response each of the main points identified. And then you compare what you have done in number two here to a sample reply letter. Right? Okay, so I, all of you are so quiet. Um, I hope you can hear me and listen to me. Uh, hold on. Huh? Mm. Janisha. Okay, introduction. Discuss what you use to communicate with friends. Okay, so how do you communicate with your friends? No one is answering me yet. How do you communicate with your friends? Can you hear me? Can you all hear me? Oh, oh, oh you use a pigeon, conchun. You communicate with your friends. Right, morning, Laya. Okay, you use. Okay, never mind. I'm very intrigued by Seng Kong Chong's answer. Pigeon. I didn't know we have a pigeon that would send messages until today. That's interesting. All right. Uh, who? Who is doing? Who is doing what? Liz Wan. Uh, uh, mobile phone. Good morning, Tashmita. Right. Everyone use messenger. Okay, phone, messenger, WhatsApp. All right, WhatsApp. Everybody likes WhatsApp. Huh? I also like WhatsApp. I don't really like Telegram. Some people use Telegram.
WhatsApp. Okay, right. Child of Muhammad. WhatsApp. Okay, right. Okay, so when you want to reply to a letter, okay, you prefer Telegram, Putri. Yes, I know some people prefer Telegram because uh, stuff, uh, pictures, documents are not safe on your phone. Um, they have their own um, place to say, uh, store it compared to WhatsApp that it takes space in our phone. Eh? Right? So when you reply, you have to react to what the writer has said. And then you have to read it carefully to see. Okay, you have If you have a letter to respond to, the information in the letter, you have to read and see if you have to apologize. Okay, there are a few things here. Do you have to apologize? Do you have to give an explanation? Do you want to express um, enthusiasm? Do you want to ask for or give information? Or do you want to thank the sender? All right, thank the sender for whatever, you know, our uh, advice given or gift given or uh, invitation um, handed out, right? Accept or decline a request or accept or reject an invitation. Li Hong, you are just in time. We are just starting an introduction, right? Okay. He's not preparing for his um, Zoom class. Okay, right. Sorry, my 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 son has a uh, um, Google Meet class. All right. Um, you can organize your letter by re replying to the writer's comments in a similar order. So when you see the letter that you get from a sender, you answer based on the um, points given by the writer. Okay, so you don't have to like try to reorganize. Morning, Zizin. Okay, so this is in textbook page 66 in activity A. You're supposed to look at the questions and notes and state what the purpose is for each note. So the first thing is, I want you to look like, for example, number one, can you help us do some packing next week? So this is an example of a question, right? And they have given you part of the answer like you have seen in your textbook, page 66. Okay. So sorry, but what I want to know now before any answer is this. What is the purpose for each note? What is the purpose of this? Can you help us do some packing next week? Sorry, but what's the purpose of the note? Anyone? Uh, I, maybe I would give you um, the first one. I explain to you what it is. When you have sorry, but the purpose is to apologize and give an explanation. That's what you need to let me know for the remaining uh, sentences, uh, questions that you will get. So when someone say, can you help us do some packing next week? You, the given is sorry, but the purpose here to write the answer is to apologize and give an explanation. What about number two? Have you heard we've just bought a houseboat? Right? So that's the question. Okay. The answer is yes. Have you heard we've just bought a houseboat? Your friend can also say, have you heard that we are moving to a new house? Have you just, uh, heard that, you know, uh, I'm going to move to another country? And your friend say yes. What's the purpose of that answer. Yeah, yeah, Li Hong, like a cliche line, right? Hi, Aiden. Morning, Aiden. <coughs> Why is today class so quiet? Eh? What happened to everyone? Everyone is awake.
Hello, everyone, are you okay? Number two, it's okay, Sri Darshini. We, we just started, not that long. Okay, so what's the answer for number two? No one is giving me any answer for number two. What is the purpose of that? No one can think it's too early in the morning. Hi, cluster. To agree. Right. When someone says, okay, it's okay. Yeah, you're fine, fine, fine. I'm just waiting for answer. Thank you, Putri, for saying that, to agree, to agree with the person. Yes, it's to express enthusiasm. When someone says that, you know, I've just bought a houseboat and the word yes here with an exclamation mark shows you someone who is enthusiastic about it. Yes, you know, it's so wonderful to be, for example, to be in a houseboat, all right? Um, whatever way you want to express your enthusiasm. All right, thank you, um, Child of Muhammad and Hoi Wan. Very good answer. Now, number three, I hear you are moving house. Is there anything I can help you with? Uh, you know, when sometimes people write a letter, I know you don't write letters anymore. But imagine if there is someone who writes you a letter or in an email. The page number is on the screen. Can you, can you see cluster? It's on page 66. Okay, I hear you are moving house. Is there anything I can help you with? Yes, can you? What would be the purpose? To express excitement, yes. Cluster, I hope you, you get the page number. Yes, Bob, to ask somebody to do something. That is the purpose of the question, right? And purpose of the answer, yes, can you? Yep. So let's see. Yes, to offer help, all right? To offer help, accept a request. Yes, Tarmina, correct, okay? And then, would you rather come to visit on Saturday or Sunday? Asking for something. Yes, Lizon. Saturday because... Uh, what would be the purpose then to request, okay? Right, I know you're all still at number three to offer help, to ask them to do a favor. Yes, that is for number three. You're all correct. Asking for something excellent. What about number four? To ask an opinion, to invite someone, to give an explanation. Right, let's see if you're right. To express a preference. When someone gives you a choice, do you want A or do you want B? Do you want to do this or do you want to do that? You are going to express a preference when you answer. Okay, I prefer A or I prefer this. And then you give a reason why. So you express a preference. Okay, right? Okay, to explain. To explain is after you have given the, the preference, right? Okay, number five. Is now a good time to move house? So if you get an email uh, asking you, you know, I'm going to move, do you think now is a good time to move house? You answer no because what would that be then? to explain. Even number five can use to give explanation, right? Yes, Lee Hong, correct. Even for number five, you can, to give an explanation. Okay, so explanation works with the one that you have given for number four, most of you. Okay, right, to give an explanation. Right, and it's also correct, uh, Putri, it's also to ask for an opinion and you're giving, not ask, you're giving an opinion. No, because you're giving your opinion. Right? Yes. Okay. Last one. The last one. Have you any idea how I can help get my sister to help tidy our room? Looks like she's sharing her room with her sister. Right? I don't know how many of you are sharing rooms with your siblings. Uh, are you all sharing room with your siblings or you have your own room to yourself? I think most of you have room to yourself. 
right? Maybe a few of you share with your sister if you are a girl and if you're a boy with your brother. Mm -hmm. Okay, my kids, one boy, one girl, so they all have their own room. Okay, to give suggestion, yes. So have you tried? Mm, oh, you're sharing. Yeah. Do you like sharing, Lizuan? Do you like sharing your room with your sister? I don't know. Lizuan is a girl, I hope. Huh? We have a ro own room. Okay. Yes. It's to suggest something. So you're giving a suggestion um, on how she can get her sister to help. Okay. Right. To give suggestion uh, or sharing suggestion. Yes. Okay. Good. All right. Yeah. Okay. So now with the same question, you have, you already know the purpose. So what would the reply be? Okay, what would the reply be? If you say, can you help us do some packing this week? All right, you need to write a reply now. Just now was what is the purpose? Now is to write a reply. Oh, three is so funny. We need a personal room because I don't know what nonsense she does to my things. <sighs> suggestion does not, suggestions do not work on people like you. All oh, right, we are crazy and spoiled. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Okay, so can you help us do some packing next week? Sorry, but how would you say? Can you help us do some packing next week? Sorry, but... Can you please give me uh, sentences to complete that? <laughs> she must love you so much, Putri. Oh, your room is very comfortable, either one. You have to write a reply. How would you write a reply? Come on, brains. Work, brains. Too long at home. Brain must work. Sorry, but I'll help you when I'm free. All right. Sorry, but I'll help you when I'm free. Okay. I'm busy packing next week too. All right, Aiden. I'm going to meet my friend next week. All right, Mark. Sorry, but I have a wedding to attend to next week. <laughs> oh, Li Hong, you are so, so bad. Okay, Wei Chun, sorry, but I need to hang out with my family. I don't know. My, it's okay, Putri. You know, I understand you got up, I think, for Sahur today. So you're a little bit tired and it's the middle of uh, Puasa month. I think you have already started fasting for nearly two weeks, right? So it's fine. Right, child of Muhammad, I have something on this weekend. Good. Sorry, but I can send them to the shops. You can send what to shops? Kai, kai, uh, kai Jin? Can you help us do some packing, meaning somebody wants to pack something? Sorry, but I'll try to help you. Uh, Tarvina, when you say sorry, you're already saying that you can't help them, but how are you going to help them? So this is an example. There are two uh, examples. Uh, there are two sentences there. One is sorry, but I'm going to be staying at my... the, the Ignore the extra alphabet there, my grandma's next week right oh sorry but i've hurt ignore the one there i've hurt my back and i'm not allowed to uh, lift anything all right yeah it's fine it's fine Kai, Kai Jin. it's okay i know you didn't understand the word packing uh, all right yes li hong very 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 honest answer sorry but i'm too lazy to help you i prefer playing games all week long all right you are never a good friend, Li Hong. 
So these are things you can say. Your answers all there on the chat is acceptable. Let's look at the second one. Have you heard I've just bought a houseboat? So you want to show excitement, remember, to express enthusiasm. So what would you say? Yes. Sorry, but we need to do right now or we can't go across the border because next week they will be quarantined, is it? <laughs> okay, number two. Such a slow morning. Right. Chikian, thank you. Sorry, but I need to attend my birthday party with my friend the night. Good. That is for number one. All right. Zizin. Yes, I can't wait to take a look at it. Is it Zikin? I cannot remember who corrected me how to pronounce the name. Right. Yes, it sucked. Huh? You, you express enthusiasm that way, Li Hong. I've also, oh, I love your answer, Aiden. Yes, I've also bought a houseboat. Now, Aiden, you already have also, you cannot have two, unless you say I've bought a houseboat too. Once you have also, then you don't have the two. I've also bought a houseboat. Okay, Aiden? But very good sentence. Right, yes, congratulations. Very good, Kong Chun. Yes, Hoi Wan, I would love or I, I would like to see your houseboat. Yes. Yes, it's so beautiful. Okay, that means you have seen it. Wonderful answers. Any more? Okay, so this is an example. You must be so excited. Imagine living on a houseboat. Okay? Yeah, Nushin, your brain is also not responding to the sentence. Yeah. Okay, it's okay. Just follow the class, you'll be fine. I hear you are moving house. Is there anything I can help you with? And the person you are offering your help to say, yes, can you? Okay, so you're supposed to be offering. Okay, asking to offer help. Yes, unfortunately, your houseboat was a scam, but the scammer, in fact, was me. I have all your money now. Oh, God. Li Hong, are you, are you okay today? You are such... You're in such uh, 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 like a revenge mood. Yes, the boat looks huge. Okay. Li Hong got out of the bed on the wrong side, I think, this morning. All right, Nushin, very good. Can you help me carry the items inside? Okay. All right. Any other answer? Nushin, your brain is working. It's, 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 it's responding now. Good, Nushin. Anyone else? Yes. Can you help me pack up all the things? Wow, Lizwan. Yes. Can you help me carry the items inside? Yeah. It can be that question form. Yes. Why did you retract your question, Nushin? Because it's, you didn't have your question mark. Right. Any other answer? What happened to Tarvina, Tashmita? Are they all alive still? Okay, so can you help me clean the new house before we move in? Right? Okay. Yeah, I know. I don't even have a question mark at the end. Right, it should be there. Yes, can you help me double check the items if they're still left in the house? All right, very good. Okay, let's go to number four. Yes, can you drive me to my new house? Yes, that's very nice. Very good. Okay, would you rather come to visit on Saturday or Sunday? Yes, can you help me lift the cupboard inside? Good, excellent. So if you choose Saturday, can you give a reason to offer an explanation, uh, to, offer to, uh, to express a preference? Why Saturday? Why not Sunday? She can guess. Can you communicate with me? Communicate about what? Uh, she can for number three. Are you answering for number three? 
Tashmita is sleeping. How do you know, Sri? On Saturday, because I have to attend church on Sunday. Okay, very good. Saturday, because I have a lot of tasks to do on Sunday. Okay, very good, Nushin. Any more? Saturday or Sunday is fine because... All right, Aiden, the answer is really given. Saturday, you need to offer an explanation there. Homework and something else. Saturday, because I have piano class on Sunday. Uh, Saturday, because Saturday night fever. Because I have to attend my grandmother's birthday party on Sunday. Very good. Yes, child of Muhammad. Very good. Because on Sunday, I have to visit my uncle. Oh, Sri, she's your sister. I see. Okay. So you and your sister both in Form 3? Saturday because I have Taekwondo classes on Sunday. Okay, very good. So you can give an explanation like my uncle and aunt are coming for lunch on Sunday. Okay, right? So that is an, um, one way you can answer. I'm free and I have to go out with my family on Sunday. Very good. No, because uh, it's now a good time to move house. Okay, sat okay, Tarmina, Saturday because Sunday I have my swimming class. Very good. What about number five? No, because it's not a good time to move house. Why no? Because of what? Hmm. No, Li Hong, you get the answer my daughter just whispered to me. No, because of COVID-19, she said. <laughs> And Li Hong, wow, wow. Okay, Li Hong, I don't know why you in a fall mood, Li Hong. Okay, no, because of Corona. Oh, corona is a girl. No, because Corona is my girlfriend and she'll be upset that if I leave the house. Okay, this one. Okay. Anymore? There will be a big storm. All right. Cluster is, is whipping up a storm. Saturday, because I want to go shopping with my family, that would be for number four. Oh, I'm because uh, Li Hong, I think, uh, sorry, Chu Ken, Chi Ken, I think you're answering it for number four, right? What about number five? Oh, okay. Because we have good child of Muhammad, no, because, because. No, because we have to spend more money to buy the furniture. Okay, Li Zhuang, you're a girl, sorry. So, Corona must be a guy. Coronana. No, because there'll be traffic jam. Okay, because of the COVID-19 pandemic. No, because it's still going on. Mm. No, because the traffic will be very congested. It'll be challenging to drive when that's right. Zizin, very good. Okay, but my neighbor beside me, they are moving house at this time. Okay. All right, so this is another reason you can say no because house prices have fallen recently, meaning that it's not a good time to move house because if you move house, you cannot sell your house at a higher price. Okay, uh, we you say no because outside is having to rain heavily. Maybe you can say Chuntan that uh, no because it's the, rain, it's the monsoon season, so it's always raining. Therefore, it's not a good time to move house, all right? Have you any idea how I can get my sister to help tidy our room, Sri? Can you find any way to get your sister to attend the class? That will be the answer. So, can you suggestion? Have you tried? Yes, uh, Nushin, I agree with you. I think he got up on the wrong side of the bed today. So, let him just rent on and vent whatever he wants, okay? As long as he's trying to answer the question. So let's all ignore him and let him go with his renting. Okay. So have you any idea how I can get my sister to help tidy our room? Sri also has disappeared. Sri has gone to sleep, is it? So have you tried to wake her up? <laughs> Hoi Wan, that is for Sri, right? Okay. Tidy our room. Offering money to her. Ooh. Everyone wants to work for money. Have you tried giving her a reward and offer to help? Mm. It, it tells me all of your mindset when you offer to help. All of you want money, reward, 
and also bribery. Wow, cluster, very dangerous. Bribe her. Bribery is wrong. Have you tried to scold her? She might not even do. No, because I have cough and some health problem. Oh, number five. Okay. Uh, Chicken, number five uh, is asking an, your opinion if it's a good time to move house. And you say no because you are having cough and some. Okay, so you are you are trying to say that the person is asking as though you are living in the same house as them. Right. <laughs> Why is she mad? At, tell her I'm not angry, Sri. I'm not annoyed. I'm not angry because for me, this is funny. Okay, yes. If not, I'll do nothing. Okay. Um, have you tried asking your parents for help? Wow. Okay, right. Why don't this is... Have you tried arranging a time that suits both of you so you can tidy up together? Meaning you tell your sister, come, let's do it on a day or a time where both of you are available to do it together. Okay. So that's the example of answers that you can give for these questions. All right. The purpose of this activity is for you to see when someone asks you a question, how you can reply. Right? Yes, Nushin, enjoy. Enjoy Li Hong being um, crazy today. Let's look at activity B. Okay, now you have to read the writing task. Always remember when you get a writing task, you need to underline the sec sections that you need to respond to. Okay? All right? So you have received a letter from your friend Robbie who's moving house. So write a letter in reply to Robbie. Okay, so what do you need to um, what do you need to make sure is ask this question to yourself. You have to underline. All right, receive letter, moving house, write a reply. So, one thing is Robbie moving house. That's the important uh, keywords. And then write letter, which is a reply to Robbie, 100 words. So, you remember the questions, the WH questions that you must ask yourself. Not just say what, are, what answer the question, uh, answer based on the WH question. You need to know specific WH question. So, what must I write? You all should know what should you write based on the task. What must I write? You have to write a letter. Who is my audience? Who is going to read my letter when I write a reply? Robbie will be your audience. What is the purpose? Yes, Putri. You write a, a, letter, a reply letter, correct. What is the purpose? The purpose is to reply to Robbie's letter. Okay? And what must I include? That will be based on the sample, not sorry, sample, the letter that you will read in a while. Okay? All right? So what must I write? A letter, a reply. A letter, who is my audience? Robbie will be the person who gets your letter. What is the purpose? To reply to all of Robbie's question in the letter. You don't know what it is. And what must I include? We will look at the letter to see what you must include. Okay, all of you are giving me correct answers. All right, everyone, including the crazy Lee Hong today. Okay. Let's read the writing task and underline the sections you need to respond to. So this is the letter. Hi, Kirk. Okay, so imagine you are Kirk, even though you are not Kirk, okay? You are everyone else except Kirk, but imagine you are Kirk. How are you? Guess what? We are moving house next week. Our new house is a cottage. It's really old and interesting and I like it, but... I'm a bit worried I won't like being in the countryside. I also don't know if it should be small letter, if there are any people my age who live nearby. 
By the way, mom says we are having a housewarming party at the end of August. This one should be a comma here, not a full stop. Can you come? All right. <laughs> Everyone stop with COVID-19. Okay. This is just a letter before COVID-19. Right. I really hope you can. We'll need help with the music. Maybe you could bring some of your amazing collection. Do you want to be DJ? Right? So, you can also have someone, a housewarming party through uh, Google Meet, Zoom. You know, not, not many people are doing that. All right? They have their Zoom call and a Google Meet call, whatever, and then they have a, a, a close gathering online. Okay? Right. And then, bye for now, Robbie. So this letter was written by Robbie to Kirk. So now what I need you to do is, what, here, look at the task. You see, many of you are not paying attention to the task. The task say, underline the sections you need to respond to. So what are the information here in the letter that you need to respond to? Let's go paragraph by paragraph. Okay, the first one, how are you? You need to respond, right? You need to respond, you are fine or you're not fine or you are sick or you are whatever, whatever you're feeling, right? Let's look at this, this second paragraph here. What would you respond to? Yes, uh, Liz one, you want to be the DJ is something that you would respond to, but that comes in the later paragraph, the first paragraph. What would you want to respond to? Yes, Tarvina, I'm a bit worried. I won't like being in the countryside. Yes, you might, you want to reply to that part. When someone says, I'm worried about being in the countryside, your job as a friend is to make your friend feel she should or she should not worry. Okay? Yes. Right, Tarvina. Okay? Good. Yes, yes. Liz Wan, you are right. Okay? Okay. Um, what are the parts that you need to reply? Can you come? Yes. Can you come for the housewarming party? Okay. Yes, yes, Lizuan. Right. Yes, Chuntan. Respond about the opinion of living in the countryside. Very good, Chuntan. Very good. Okay. And then, can you come? Uh, Mok have said, uh, we are having house. Can you come? So, can you come for the housewarming party at the end of August? So, hopefully, at the end of August, COVID-19 is no more. We don't know, right? Maybe August 2021, maybe August 2022. We don't know what year. Okay? Any more that you, that, that you respond? Yes. Right. Any people nearby? Yes, yes. That means people age near your age, um, same age with you. Are they living nearby? Right. Yes. Okay. So this is what you would have have to respond to. One is I won't like being in the countryside and people my age. So tell me now. You're very right. Okay, and then just now Mok was saying about can you come, which is the housewarming party, excellent. And then earlier, um, Lizwan was talking about wanting to be a DJ because you have an amazing collection. So you have to respond to these things when you are writing a letter. Okay, so how do you organize, how do you develop your ideas for writing a response to a letter? Okay, then... Activity C, thinks of ways you could respond to your underlying sections and write notes. You are not going to compare, you are just going to share with us. So you have underlined, 
here, I won't like being in the countryside. So, Robby says that he wouldn't like being in the countryside. Okay. So, what would you say to Robby S. Kirk about that? Do you all have any ideas? What would you say? The countryside is better than the city. Yes, this one you might want to say that. Definitely, um, the iPhone Siri wouldn't be better than the countryside. <laughs> okay. All oh, right, any other answers? Such a slow day because of the weather. The weather also makes you. Okay, what about, okay, don't worry about the countryside. Countryside is an amazing place to live because it is quiet. Excellent, Zizin, that's what you should say to your friend who, you know, has no choice but move there. Yes. Okay, Chuntan, the countryside is more relaxed than the city. Excellent. That's what you would say too. I'm sorry, I will come. Oh, okay. Putri, we are still at, I won't like being in the countryside, but Putri, uh, you have gone to be the DJ there. So you have tried to answer the last paragraph there. I'm sorry. I will come to your housewarming party, but I'm not sure about being a DJ. Yes, okay. The countryside is a place for you. Okay, Li Hong is in his own mood. Okay, let's look at the second one. People my age who live... I don't know if there are any people my age who live nearby. So what would you um, respond to that? Someone writes to you and you want to respond to that. How would you respond to that? Nobody wants to say. You don't have any idea what to say about how to respond to people your age who about living nearby. I know Li Hong, I can read your 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 response. Okay. Countryside is enjoyment land scenery. Okay, Chicken. Don't worry. There's a lot of people who are in the same age as you. Yes. All right, cluster, very good. You shouldn't worry about that. It's not a problem knowing people that's not the same age as us. Okay, very good, Nushin. Excellent. Right? Don't worry about the age. Everyone is same and kind there. Okay, Tarvina. <coughs> Sorry. What about... Um, what about the housewarming party? Putri has given the answer about the housewarming party. Can you come? Putri has already said that she will come, but she will, uh, sorry, and she but she won't become the DJ. So she has answered two. Okay, uh, Zizin has answered for the second one. People my age, you don't have to worry about people living there. You can still inter interact with them in a friendly manner. Okay, right. What about the housewarming party? What would you answer? You will answer yes, you can come, or no, you can't come. And if you say no, you can't come. You have to give a reason. Okay. And then um, the amazing collection, you because 
you know, she said you could bring um, your amazing collection. So you might want to say that I will bring my, my collection and definitely be honoured to be a DJ in your party. Or you can say like Putri say, I can lend you uh, my amazing collection, but I think you need to find someone else to be a DJ uh, because of whatever reason. Okay. Um, I've seen them. Mock says, don't worry about age because you can get on well, well with them. Don't worry, you can still communicate with your friend. Okay. Very good, Zizin. I definitely come. I will not want to miss the opportunity. Okay. Good. I will become a... I'm waiting for Lizuan to say something. I will become a... It's... Okay, FND, I understand. And his name is not FND, his name is Eiffel. Right? Eiffel is okay, Eiffel. Um, I understand because you are uh, fasting, uh, things happen. My advice is after Saho, don't, fall, don't go back to sleep. Do your solat, whatever solat you need to do uh, so that you are awake. Right? Okay, so Tarvina, I love to come to your party. That will be cool. I feel the countryside may seem small and may not have many people, but that does not mean. Ah, right. Very good, Lee Hong. Very good answer. Yes, I can come to your house one party at the end of August. All right. Very good. So let's look at a sample letter that was written to respond to Robbie. Kirk has written this, okay, which is also in activity D. So it's, it's on page 67. So this is the example letter. So did Kirk include any similar responses to the ones you or your partner? You, we don't have a partner here. We are all doing it as, as a group here. So let's look at how Kirk has written. Okay. Okay. It's good to hear from you. Hi, Robbie. It's good to hear from you. What exciting news. I've always wanted to live in the countryside. You'll be able to cycle around without traffic and camp out at night. It will be great. So what Kirk has done here is Kirk has given the positive aspects or features of living in the countryside. One is you can cycle around because there is no traffic. Two, you can come camp out at night. All right, uh, and it will be great. Some of your answers you have given are also acceptable, uh, but you all didn't give this kind of response. It's okay. You have your own opinion. Okay, so that was good. And then um, Kirk answered about new friends. Don't worry about new friends. You've always been very popular. Why don't you see if there's a local football team or youth club? So um, Kirk has given not only a, a, like a motivation talk saying that you're popular, so it's uh, you will be easily making friends. He also has given a suggestion that you know she um, that Robbie should uh, maybe you know sign up for a football team or youth club. So that way, okay, um, your friend would get an idea of how he can find some friends same age like him okay <laughs> that's a famous chicken that's a famous i think you're in the pink of health there's a very famous line among malaysian learners right so i love to come to your party so Kirk has answered about the one about the housewarming. Can you come? I love to come to your party. It will be great fun. And of course, I love to be the DJ. I bring lots of different types of music so everyone can have a good time. Have you decided on a date yet? So in the letter that Robbie wrote to Kirk, he did not give the date and time. And um, Kirk has responded that he would be the DJ. He would come to the party and he will bring lots of different types of music, okay? So, he say bye for now, Kirk. Okay, so 
this is the sample letter okay as you can see every every uh, part of the letter that need responded to kirk responded to it so that's what you need to do when you are writing the letter okay so the conclusion is i want you to focus on words and expressions that can be used for writing an informal letter to a friend how what are the words or expressions that you can use for writing an informal letter to a friend Hello, everyone. What are the words of expressions that you can use that you have seen while we are doing today's letter? If I were you, I'd okay. She can right in today's lesson. To, you know, right, okay. In informal letter, if I were you, I'd okay. Any more? Feeling great? Yes. Good. Three. Yours truly, best regards, kind, all right, kind regards, feeling great, okay. Why don't you love countryside? Any more? No. Hope to hear from you soon. Okay, good. Right. I'm sorry that, okay, very good. Hi, Wan. Why don't you? It'll be great. Bye for now. Hi, Cheryl. Suddenly, I see your name popping out, Cheryl. Okay. Cheryl, you leaving? Thanks for your letter. How are you, Tashmita? Welcome back, Tashmita. Sorry, I can't make it. Good, child of Muhammad. Okay. Right. So, um... Today, you are not writing anything yet for today, right? I'm looking forward to seeing you. Yes, Sky Chin. And then Cheryl, it's okay, Cheryl. And then Aiden says, Aiden, you just have to say bye. The next lesson on Monday, we are also going to do, this time we are going to prepare on writing a letter. Okay? Good, Tarwina, right? Back soon. So today's lesson is just teaching you how to organize uh, your, uh, your answer, how to develop your ideas, okay? How to respond uh, to certain parts of the letter. So, and then you read the letter and then you look for information in the letter that Rob, Robbie wrote to Kirk and you identify what you needed to respond to. So that was the reading part where you respond looking at the keywords, the main points, and then you responded to it. And then you compare it to the letter that Kirk responded to Robbie. Okay? So, it's okay, Yingli. I know my class is early, but you have to understand that I also have another class at 11. Um, so, if you don't like it to be 9 in the morning, uh, please write suggestion there what you still want to maintain 9 to 10 or you have another time that you want. Um, any any suggestion or is it too early for most of you because I'm up at 5, 6 in the morning already. So are my children. They are up by 6 something, 6 or 7, they are up. So you let me know. Okay, Lizuan is happy with 9 to 10. So I'm keeping 9 to 10 because Lizuan is the only one uh, answering uh, to my question. So my class will always be 9 to 10 on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Next week, we are having a full class. Yeah, Monday, Wednesday and Friday next week, three times a week. We are having a full uh, lesson. Then you're going to have a two-week break, school break, right? Yes, I am going to maintain it, 9 to 10. Um, then you're going to have a two-week break after next week. I think two weeks break of school, school meet year. So I will not be doing any classes during that two, 
school week break. Okay, thank you very much for your um, response. All right, Chicken, I cannot do nine to 12, four hours, three hours. No, no. Okay, yes. Right, your Raya holiday, Nushin, your Raya, your Raya is coming. Right, so take care. Today's, today's work is, uh, today's lesson is just to prepare you for next Monday lesson on how to write. So take care, have fun, be safe. See you on Monday. Have a wonderful weekend, everyone.